Measure and mark the center points of each side of the ceiling and snap a chalk line to connect the marks from opposite sides. Locate and mark both ends of the first ceiling joist and make additional markings every 16 inches from it to indicate the locations of the remaining joists. Connect the end marks for each individual joist with chalk lines across the ceiling. Locate and mark the first wall stud and make additional markings every 16 inches from it to indicate the locations of the remaining studs. Repeat this step on each of the remaining walls until all studs have been properly marked. Make all of the markings a few inches lower than the finished depth of your coffered ceiling system so that they remain visible throughout the entire installation process. Your room is now completely marked and ready for the installation of the coffered modules. On the first coffer module, make a center mark on all four edges of the fastening flange. Then mark the back side of the module with an arrow to indicate the direction in which it will be installed. Position the first coffer module so that the center marks on the fastening flange align with one or both of the ceiling center lines, depending on your particular coffer layout. Pre-drill two holes in the two fastening flanges that are perpendicular to the ceiling joists for a total of four holes. Align your holes with the joist locations as marked. Fasten the module to the ceiling joists with adjustable lag screws through each of the four pre-drilled holes. Tighten the screws until the coffer module is snug to the ceiling surface. Align the next module with any side of the first module and repeat the fastening sequence by pre-drilling and securing it with the adjustable lag screws. It's best to complete one full row of modules at a time, as shown here, rather than to install them randomly on the ceiling. Once all of the coffer modules are secured to the ceiling, shoot a level horizontal laser line a few inches below all of the modules. Measure up from the laser line to determine which module is closest to the line and use this module as your starting point for the leveling process. Adjust the lag screws on the first coffer module until all four corners of it measure the same distance up from the laser line. Use the final adjusted dimension from the laser line as your benchmark for adjusting all remaining modules. Repeat the adjustment on all of the remaining coffer modules until all modules measure the same dimension from the laser line. This will result in a perfectly level plane across the bottom edge of all of the coffer modules and of the entire coffered ceiling system. In all four corners of the room, make a mark on each wall that is in alignment with the bottom edges of the leveled coffer modules. Connect the marks on each wall with a chalk line until you have created a continuous horizontal line around the entire room. Install the first nailer board on the wall by aligning the bottom edge of it with a horizontal chalk line and fastening it at the stud locations as marked. Repeat this process of installing the nailer boards for each of the remaining walls. Fasten the perimeter beam boards in place using the bottom edges of the nailer boards and of the coffer modules as your fastening locations. The outer edge of the perimeter beam boards need not be snug to the wall surfaces as any gaps or discrepancies will be covered by the perimeter molding. Once the perimeter beam boards have been installed, fasten the intersecting beam boards in place using the bottom edges of the coffer modules as your fastening locations. Install all of the longest boards first, followed by the shorter pieces fit between. Position the first length of perimeter molding under the perimeter beam board and against the wall. Secure the molding with nails at the wall stud locations as marked. Repeat this process for installing the perimeter molding for each of the remaining walls. Once all of the perimeter moldings have been installed, your Tilton Coffered Ceiling System installation is complete.